So she takes the orange, she puts the worm. She's not kidding, she's gonna eat it. Oh my God. Five hours since I left my home in Bandra and we have finally arrived in Mexico City. No way. What is this? Wait a second. Okay. Okay, this is something else in India. Adriana, come here. Adriana. Wait a second. Oh, okay. I'm in Mexico and what I've noticed in Mexico is everyone is so affectionate. On the streets, people are kissing, they're hugging, there's so much PDA on the streets. I have come to a conclusion that Mexico is the PDA capital of the world. In you the have language? to say Namaste. Namaste. Namaste, India. Namaste, India. <laughs> come to Mexico. Come to Mexico. Friends here, we're at a bar and this is mezcal. This is deadlier than tequila and this is what all the Mexican people love to drink, especially in Oaxaca. Arriba, abajo, adentro, para adentro. adentro. It's really hot outside and I'm here to do this very traditional Mexican pa from like back in the day where they put you into this uh, igloo kind of thing with hot coals and burn you up and then it takes out all your seasons. Let's start. Wish me luck guys. The lady in the line told me that he's using these herbs and leaves because they believe that everything has a life force. And the life from these herbs and leaves are now entering my body. And the fire is supposed to unblock me, I'm told. He's taking all the negativity and blowing it away into the wind. Apparently the fire also takes my prayers and joins it with the spirit world. I want to positive thinking guys you usually see me at infinity pools well welcome to the natural infinity pool of mexico herbilagua which means pool of boiling water and what is that called sombrero that's the sombrero yeah. the famous mexican hats yeah. is my hat a sombrero yeah, this is it's, it's a mini touristy sombrero. Yeah. <laughs> can you can you explain es escaramuza? Okay, the escaramuza <laughs> is a ballet done from for eight girls riding side saddle, uh, running the horses, mm -hmm. the gallop. Uh, it depends on the, each team how far fast or how slow you want to do it. Mm -hmm. And there's 12 different uh, steps that we do. Okay. And it runs in between three five minutes. Okay. Damn, that was scary. They're in a the little formation over there. That is nice. Looks really pretty. This is cool. So this, my friends, is Frida Kahlo, the famous painter, Mexican painter's house. She had a very colorful life. And I can say she had a very colorful house. First question, why was Frida Kahlo so famous? Well, she was a great artist, mm -hmm. but also she was a woman ahead of her time here in Mexico, outside the Frida Kahlo Museum. And they say they have different kind of coconuts here in Mexico. So let's see. All right. Mm. Okay, so this is really sweet, but it's a mix. Like, you know, India, we have we have really great coconuts too, but Thailand has the best. It has the sweetest coconut. And this is somewhere in the middle. It's sweet, but it's not sugar water. Like in Thailand, it's like sugar. Mm, I like it. Mexico was a fun ride. The most interesting part of the trip was the striking resemblance Mexico has with India. We're so far, yet so close. The food, the people, the hospitality, the warmth. It's been 150 days or more since we've been in lockdown. But the memories, they just keep coming back. And my desire to travel increases every single day. 
I know this feels like the end, but it isn't. I know I will travel and share stories from across the globe once again soon. 